Hello Matrix, and welcome to the fifth video on Calculus, brought to you by the Answer Series. In this video, we will start looking at how we can get a derivative without doing first principles. I've given you a table below of 12 examples. I've given you f of x and its derivative. And what I want you to do is I want you to look at these examples and see if you can work out a way of how to get the derivative from the original expression without doing first principles. So I want you to pause the video. I want you to have a look for any patterns that you might see. And then we'll look at it together. So if we look at the following, if I look at any term in x cubed, how do I get from a 2 to a 6? And how do I get from the exponent of 3 to an exponent of 2? Here I've got a minus 6 becomes minus 18, and the 3 becomes a 2. If I look at any x squared term, the 5 becomes a 10, the 2 becomes a 1. The minus 1 becomes a minus 2, and the 2 becomes a 1. What about any term with a negative exponent? The minus 3 becomes a 3, the minus 1 becomes a minus 2. 4 becomes minus 8, and minus 2 becomes minus 3. So you might have started picking something up with that. Well, how do I get the 6? 3 times 2 is 6, and the exponent is 1 less. 3 times minus 6 is minus 18. The exponent is 1 less. 2 times 5 is 10, and my exponent goes from 2 to 1. 2 times minus 1, minus 2, and the same with my exponent. It works in exactly the same way with the negative exponents. 4 times minus 2 is minus 8. Minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. So what about terms in x? Well, if I take minus 4x, the exponent is a 1. So if I take 1 times minus 4, I get minus 4. This then becomes x to the power 0. And x to the 0 is 1. And minus 4 times 1 is minus 4. So the derivative of minus 4x is minus 4. If I look here, what's the derivative of plus 6x? It's plus 6. So any term with just an x derivative is the coefficient. What about a constant term? What's the derivative of plus 5, or minus 2, or minus 1? Well, I can write 5 as 5x to the 0. 0 times 5 is 0, and then it becomes x to the minus 1. But 0 times anything is just 0. So the derivative of any constant is zero. So what we have is we now have our rule for finding a derivative. If I give you f of x is equal to ax to the n, you take the exponent times the coefficient, so a times n, and you subtract 1 from the exponent. Now we're going to use this rule a lot. So in example number 1, what I want you to do is, there are five examples. I want you to use this rule, so going from ax to the n, to a times n, x to the n minus 1. Use that rule, work out the derivatives of these five examples. So pause the video, try them, and then we'll do them together. Example number 1. 2 times 3, 6 and I subtract 1 from the power, so it becomes 6x to the 1.
Derivative of minus 5x, it's a term in x, so the derivative is just the coefficient. Because this is x to the 1, and 1 times minus 5 is minus 5, and it becomes x to the naught, and minus 5 times x to the naught is minus 5 times 1, which is just minus 5. And the derivative of a constant is 0. So there is nothing left. 1.2. Derivative of a constant is 0. Derivative of minus 2x is just minus 2. 1.3, f of x is a constant, so the derivative is 0. 1.4, 3 times minus 4 is minus 12, and I subtract 1 from the power, so it becomes x to the power 2. In 1.5, I change 5 over x to 5x to the minus 1. I then take minus 1 times 5, which is minus 5, and I take minus 1 minus 1, which is minus 2. And then I rewrite it with a positive exponent. Now, I want you to have a good look at my notation. From this step to this step, I simply worked with exponents. That was f of x. This is still f of x. From this step to this step, I took the derivative. So f of x became f dash x. So be very careful with the notation. When have I just manipulated it? And when have I taken the derivative? And it's in that step that it becomes f dash x. Example number two, I've given you four examples. What you're going to have to do in all of these is you're going to have to do some manipulation before you take the derivative. So in 2.1, you're going to need to square the bracket. 2.2, factorize the trinomial. 2.3, write this as an exponent. And 2.4, also write it as an exponent. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video. I want you to try these four and then we'll do them together. 2.1, I squared the bracket. 2 times 9, 18, x to the power 1. Derivative of minus 6x is the coefficient minus 6. Derivative of plus 1 is 0. Notice that's still f of x. All I did was I squared the bracket. When I took the derivative it then became f dash x. In 2.2, I factorized the trinomial and I cancelled. Notice it's still f of x. Derivative of 3x is 3. Derivative of plus 4 is 0. 2.3, I changed the root x to x to the half. A half times 1 is a half a half minus 1 is minus a half. And then I take the x to the minus a half to the bottom of the fraction. Again, have a good look at where my notation changes. 2.4. 2 root x is 2x to the half. 3 over x is 3x to the minus 1. A half times 2 is 1x to the minus a half. Minus 1 times minus 3, plus 3, x to the minus 2. And then I sort out my negative exponents. Again, have a good look at where my notation changes. It becomes f dash x on the step when I do the derivative. You should now be able to take a derivative using the rule. Thank you for watching this video. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series, your key to exam success.